Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I shall discuss about how to calculate labor estimate. So please watch till the end. Uh, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon. So what we have covered in this session is uh, how to calculate labor estimate for different works. Basically, we have covered uh, excavation, concrete, brickwork, plastering, shuttering, bar bending, and painting works. Also, uh, we have uh, done a typical rate analysis model uh, with material and only labor rates. Also, it is abstracted uh, with material and only labor rates. We have also covered uh, basic conversion of units uh, like linear area and volumes uh, from uh, meter to feet, feet to uh, meters and uh, from uh, square meters to square feet and cubic feet to cubic meter etc. in the conversion unit. The purpose of the labor estimate is to basically we need to arrive at a labor rates and also it helps to prepare the budget it helps to plan the resources for the activities it also helps to prepare plan schedules for the activity it helps to better negotiate prices with the subcontractors overall it helps for the effective project management so uh, a labor estimate with the constant should be always prepared for various work before start of the work so once you have understood the concept you can create this uh, model uh, for different activities and can be uh, freezed so we straight goes into the format so this is the basic format where the labor out turn is tabulated so different activities are scheduled in the item description of items and the unit please watch for the unit sometimes it is 10 cubic meters sometimes it is 100 square meters for or sometimes it is 1 cubic meter or 10 square meters or 7 square meters so unit please watch for the each items so generally these labors are taken for 8 hours working per day out turn for this so for different activities it is the constant is derived based on standard uh, practice and uh, maybe there may be a slight variation here and there with when you compare with the different schedules of course you can always go by this or by the CPWD model so this is concrete works so basically uh, one is a plain cement concrete and another is RCC then we go into the shuttering works and the reinforcement work is given here so basically one carpenter can give a out turn for 7 square meters with the helpers so for shuttering removing works then now reinforcement so this includes cutting bending and placement so one bar bender if you engage so he should be capable of doing about 100 kg with a helper for uh, including cutting bending and placement so this is for bar bending now for other concrete works and brick works is also tabulated here which is basically with the coefficients are given standard uh, practice so this is for damp proof damp proof coarse dpc and brickwork in cement mortar 1 is to 6 in superstructure now this slide is for uh, brickwork in cement mortar 1 is to 4 in foundation and plinth and uh, the 4 and a half inch brickwork in superstructure so this is in 10 square meters uh, have a four and a half inch brick unit the other one is uh, brickwork is uh, 10 cubic meters so similarly brick on edge flooring basically this is done in the uh, pavement areas uh, for the parking areas uh, and uh, outside the open areas uh, is done with the brick on edges 
so again uh, constants are given labor out done so unit is 100 square meters ips flooring 40 mm thick for 100 square meters uh, units uh, uh, and constants are given with the labor out done we move on to plastering now so different thickness of plaster so basically when uh, thickness of plaster uh, doesn't matter for the labor coefficient because 12 mm 15 mm more or less similar but only thing is uh, the material will slightly vary but we are we are we are working out only on the labor constants this is 8 mm thick plaster on ceiling and 20 mm cement thick plaster on brickwork mostly 20 mm thick used in external uh, wall plastering so the cement constant is accordingly given uh, for the labor constants so earthwork excavation in uh, the first item is earthwork it is on uh, ordinary soils and if it is on hard soil there is a small uh, variations in the labor constants the other item is uh, filling of uh, excavated earth uh, in layers in the foundations. So moving on to painting. So first is primer uh, one coat where uh, coefficients are given for the labor outturn. And uh, next item is emulsion two coats on primer coat. So basically one painter uh, uh, with helper is capable of providing about 20 square meters area now this is the rate analysis format so i have taken a sample of one uh, item for which the entire coefficients and rates are given and uh, the calculations is also detailed similarly for uh, we can do for any number of items required items in this fashion so here what is considered is uh, cement concrete 136 uh, which is excluding the cost of centering and staging so one is the material part another is labor part so material coefficient we have earlier discussed in a, in a other videos that link will be given in the description so material coefficients is taken cement coarse and metal and labor coefficient of course is taken labor rates and material rates are given and the amount is derived with materials and labor so basically the material rates and labor rates may vary from time to time and also from place to place so that may be fine-tuned and corrected according to the each place so this is how the calculation is continued to the next page and here uh, we are adding for uh, hiring of machineries if any like a mixer machine is required and uh, for tools and plant 1.5 percent for water charges 1 percent and for contractors profit of course any taxes local taxes like gst to be added now i have worked out without gst so basically with material i have loaded up all these uh, uh, higher charges uh, tools and plant and water charges uh, contractor profit so this workouts to be 4912.73 per cubic meter and only the labor portion is 1064.36 per cubic meter so the, the same detailed working is uh, taken as abstract of rates for uh, item 1 P PCC cement concrete 136 which is 4912.73 is inclusive of labor and materials and only material is 1064.36. So this is how you, we can work out the rate analysis so that we can work out for any number of items in this similar fashion only thing we should understand the basics and we should have the coefficients and the rates of building materials and rates of labors to be properly tabulated and it should be linked to an excel sheet so anytime there is a revision we can do it very easily yeah moving on to conversion factor 
here uh, we have detailed uh, three different types of uh, conversion one is uh, linear measurements another is area and another is cubic content volume now linear is one dimension it is a length or only the breadth or the height so it is generally expressed in meters or feet now area if you take there should be two dimension either the length and breadth or the length and height so it is expressed in square meter or square feet volume is generally three dimension should be there length breadth and height so it is generally expressed in cubic meter or cubic feet so this is a basic conversion it is just for the revision so uh, meter uh, is uh, one meter is uh, 100 centimeters or 1000 mm one meter in uh, feet when you see 3.28 one meter is 3.28 feet and one feet is equal to 12 inches and one kilometer is 1000 meters so these are all very basic information should be always familiar with it otherwise please make a note of it so whenever we are converting uh, uh, the measurements in feet so the inches also should be converted into feet so that is how the calculation can be completed so there will be feet 8 feet 5 inches 9 feet uh, 7 inches so it should be expressed uh, not only in uh, inches it should be in feet only so we it should be always there 1 to 12 inches is converted in this table into feet so 1 inch is 0 0.083 feet 2 inches is 0 0.167 nothing but 1 divided by 12 2 divided by 12 3 divided by 12 like that 12 by 12 is 1 feet so 9 by 12 is 0 0.75 feet so 6 by 12 is 0 0.5 feet so this is how uh, the inches are converted into feet so this helps in when you calculate the quantities so this matters most so here we have taken a measurement where the length is 14 feet 4 inches breadth is 14 feet 3 inches and the depth is 5 inches then uh, uh, let us assume this is a slab of a length 14 feet 4 inches and the breadth is 14 feet 3 inches and the depth is 5 inches then the quantity will be uh, before that inches has to be converted into feet so 14 feet 4 inches is becomes 14.5 Three, three, three feet and 14 feet 3 inches becomes 14.25 feet and similarly 5 inches becomes 0 0.417 I think but 5 divided by 12 is 0 0.417 feet so the total volume there becomes 85.17 or if you divide by 35.3 you also get it in 2.42 cubic meter so this is how the reference of inches is getting converted into feet and further converted into quantities so this is about area conversion so 1 square meter is equal to 10.76 square feet so when you have a land area generally it is mentioned in 1 acre or hectares mostly so 1 acre is nothing but 4048 square meters uh, 1 acre is otherwise 43,560 square feet so 1 hectare is 2.47 acres so 2.47 acres is 1 hectare otherwise 1 hectare is 10,000 square meters so other way of expressing is 100 cents is 1 acre or 1 cent is 40.48 square meters or 435.6 square feet so now volume conversion so 1 cubic meter if you are converting into cubic feet it is 35.3 cubic feet and uh, 1 cubic meter is nothing but 1000 liters and 1 kilogram is 1000 grams so otherwise the factor for force 1 kg is 9.8 newtons and 1 kilo newton is 1000 newtons some of the important formulas so area of the circle is pi d squared by 4 or uh, pi r square so circumference is 2 pi r or pi d area of a trapezium is a plus b by 2 into h 
volume of trapezoidal footing is h by 3 into top area plus bottom area plus root of uh, a1 into a2 that is top area into bottom area so this is the formula for calculating the trapezoidal footing and other details this is grade of concrete so we have different grades we have earlier discussed in uh, other videos m7.5 m10 m15 m20 and 25 we know what is m and we know what is 7.5 so the conventional ratio is also given so m15 is 124 m10 is 136 so all those conventional ratio is given so the cement content for normal volume batching is given 3.4, 4.4, 6.4, 8.2, 9 bucks. So these constants are used for the rate analysis. So we have done the model for M10 which is 4.4 bucks. That is how we have taken in the rate analysis also. So we know that M uh, represent mix and number represent the compressive strength of concrete at the end of 28 days. And the unit is Newton per mm square. So M15 means 15 Newton per mm square after 28 days of uh, testing. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and if you have not subscribed so far, please subscribe and the press the bell icon. Thank you.